What's up y'all, it's Tommy here with Everyday Finance and today I'm gonna to be answering some of you guys' questions that y'all sent to me. All right, so Mark was asking, so my utilization went from six to 7% and it dropped. Shaking my head, <laughs> so what should my credit utilization be? It's less than 10%, okay? So uh, he was basically insinuating that his score had dropped, right? But the thing is, I always try to remind people is two things, one, you want your credit utilization to be as low as possible. A lot of people are going to tell you, hey, you know, keep a dollar uh, or two on, uh, you know, uh, or you want to keep a little bit of debt on there month to month. Da, da, da. I even used to think that myself. But what I realized is that's not necessarily the case, right? The, the reason why you want to just not really keep money on your card uh, month to month, it's more so you want to be using your card actively is because you don't want them to close your account down, right? You know, I'm sure you've heard that from time to time if, a bank looks and they see that you haven't used your card in six months, why would they leave you, let's say you have a $5,000 credit line. If you're not using a credit line, why would they keep it open, right? Because the issue is, what do people do, what do people do if they're in a financial distress, right? If someone is, let's say someone's having trouble financially, what are they gonna do? The first thing they're gonna do is, they're gonna finish all the money they have and then they're gonna to turn to any types of you know, loans or debt that they can get their, their hands on to be able to help them pay whatever their obligations are. So if you, let's say if you had to pay something off, right? Maybe you have a car note you gotta pay. You might try to pay with your credit card because you, you might not have the, if you don't have the cash with you, you need to pay it some way, right? And so that's the way banks look at it too. They realize that if you're not using that credit line, the $5,000 credit line that you have, they're after a certain amount of period or a certain period of time, they're going to want to close it down because they don't want to leave it open and have a situation where, you know, once you're you're in financial distress, that's when you're using it. And then you end up maxing out the five thousand and you're not paying it off at all. Right. You're not making any monthly payments. So that's the reason why they close it out. So you always want to make sure that you're at least using the card a little bit, but you're paying it off immediately. So whenever it, um, that's the first thing. Right. So in terms of what his credit utilization should be, Mark's credit utilization should be as low as possible. Now, the other thing is. You know, he's saying that his score dropped when he his utilization went down. The thing is, there's a lot of different. You, you got to think that your credit score. There's a lot of things happening. You, it's not always going to be. You might be focusing on one thing, but something else is happening that's going to negatively impact your score, right? And so it could be anything. It could be something as small as maybe he had another account that was closed, right? If he closed an account, that might be something that is hurting him. Or maybe he was disputing accounts and he got an account deleted. Right. And it was an account that he thought was an account that was hurting him, but maybe it had a, such a long credit history. It was helping his account more than it was hurting it. Right. That could be another thing. Or it could be he was getting he got hit with a couple credit inquiries. So there's a lot of negative things that could have happened. But in general, you lowering your credit utilization is only going to help you. It's not going to hurt you. OK, so that's the way I look at it. And you just want to make sure that you're being uh, you know, you're really being careful with the credit utilization because that's something that can really, it's easy to impact your score one way or the other, right? Whether you paid off all your credit cards or you're maxing them out. Okay. So that's definitely something y'all want to be, look, uh, be looking out for. And that's going to be the gist of it for this one, guys. Make sure that you hit the like button. That way I know that I'm on the right track with these videos and also hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my future videos. Alrighty. So that's going to be it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.